we can get so caught up in trying to fix it our own way, but God's telling us, hey, I am the only way. And that's what we have as Christians. And that's the beauty of the gospel is we have this and we get to share with people the one thing that can truly bring them out of their brokenness. What's up, everybody? We're here with another Passages video with the familiar Dr. Wheeler. He's a mentor of mine, so uh, that's why we love to have him in some of these videos. But uh, today we kind of wanted to talk about the gospel. Um, you know, being here at, at Liberty University, there's a lot of people who claim to be Christians, a lot of college students who claim to be Christians. And what we found out is a surprisingly large amount of them don't actually know what the gospel is or they they're not able to repeat the gospel or to present it and that's something that's so important as a christian so today we just we didn't want to take for granted that everybody just knows and understands what the gospel is um, whether or not you're a christian or somebody who maybe needs a little refresher on this uh, we wanted to create this video because you can't get too much of the gospel mm -hmm. well and we approach the gospel particularly in our culture what i found out david is that um, people today used to be, I could just start talking about, you know, the death, burial, and resurrection mm -hmm. of Christ. Right. And everybody kind of understood it, kind of a New Testament take on mm -hmm. that. And what I found out is that's not true anymore. Right. I really need to start with creation. There's four mm -hmm. words we use to describe the gospel through our classes. It's creation, fall, mm -hmm. rescue, restoration. We're gonna talk about an app here in a few minutes and an approach called the story that uses that. And okay. the bottom line is, is that Creation, obviously, we're created in God's image, but we're all created as sinners mm -hmm. and we're separated from God. You know, God created us to have relationship with Him, but, but we broke that relationship because of our sin. And then that sin represents the fall. And the fall is what separates us from God. All of us are sinners. Mm -hmm. You know, um, in fact, we talk about having a sin nature. Mm -hmm. Some people get really upset and they'll go, well, it's not fair that God gave us a sin nature. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, it's like we, we really didn't have a choice. Well, yeah. let's just imagine for a moment mm -hmm. that, that uh, let's imagine for a moment that we don't have a sin nature, mm -hmm. even though we do. Have we chosen to sin already? Of course yeah. we have. All mm -hmm. of us have. Absolutely. And so I didn't, I didn't have to teach my, my, my kids how to sin, okay? Right. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't have to give them sin classes to how to do that. So creation falls. Sin enters the world and separates us from God. Rescue is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. From the very beginning of Scripture, it talks about that God will send, you know, He'll send someone to, to take care of and bring that gap back together. Because here we are and here God is, but that sin, he, we need someone to cover that, to take care of that. We need someone to be a sacrifice for that. So God, we can't do that ourselves. Absolutely, not, yeah. that's right. So God sent himself in the person of Jesus to do that for us, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And so, you know, and what he does is he takes our sin upon himself. He was fully God, 100% God, 100% man. He walked on this earth, never sinned, but yet went to the grave, went to the cross for us, took our sin upon himself, went to the grave, and the grave could never hold him. Right, and that leads to restoration. That's exactly right. He resurrected because he never sinned. What we need to understand is sin always leads to death. And the kind of death we're talking about is spiritual death, eternal separation from God. The word death literally means to be separated from. The word life means to be together. And so God gives us eternal life together with him. And the reality of it is, though, is that we're separated from God because of our sin. When Jesus died on the cross, he took that to the grave. When he resurrected, he overcame that death. Yeah. So that we could what? We could be restored. Mm -hmm. Restored what? Restored back to the original place that God wanted us to be, which is in full relationship with him. That's what he wants from us. Absolutely. And that's that's the story of the gospel. Absolutely. And so there's there's a couple different aspects to the gospel. We have the story, which which you just walked us through quickly. And there is an app called The Story that will walk this through and, and teach you a little bit more how to do that. We'll, we could provide a link for that um, in our description to kind of lead you guys to that. Um, but that's a great tool that you guys can have at your disposal. There's videos. There's ways to have conversation that lead you through that. Um, it, it's, it's, it's awesome. And so you have the story aspect of the gospel, but then there's also our response to the gospel. Yes. So, you know, we know that there was like the fall, that there was creation, the fall, rescue and restoration. We know that, but, but what happens as a result of that? And because Jesus conquered death and conquered sin, we need to accept 
his gift of salvation that he offers us. And that's the only way that we can make it to heaven. It's only through Jesus Christ alone. And so if, if you want to become a Christian or if you're trying to lead somebody to Christ, that response to that story and, hey, do you accept what Jesus Christ did when he died on the cross and resurrected and offered that gift of salvation? Do you accept that gift of salvation? Because if you, you can say all you want, if you don't, if you don't have that aspect of it, then you're missing out. Uh, and there's so many different resources that we have to help us with this. Um, another one that, that I really like, I think it's really good for connecting with people, is Life on Mission. Yeah. And it uses this, this storytelling method of the three circles. And you have uh, this one circle that's God's design, how you know God designed everything perfect, kind of like in the creation that we talked about. Um, obviously, it's the same story. But uh, you have God's design where everything was perfect, yeah. and then that because of sin that led into brokenness and a fallen world and so everybody is broken in some way yeah. you know whether you're a christian or not everybody's broken mm -hmm. and 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 we live in this fallen world where sin exists and there, nobody's going to be perfect everybody's going to have things that are wrong with them i think right. there one thing that's unique about our culture is it tells people that they're good enough mm -hmm. that everything's okay it's all mm -hmm. about pushing hey you're like everything that you do is is good enough and that like we want to accept these like we accept everybody and that's very true but we don't want to push this idea that everybody's perfect the way they are that's exactly right. because they're not none of us are and as christians we're not trying to make you perfect we're not saying we're perfect ourselves no. we're trying to say hey i'm broken just like you are right. and there's nothing wrong with that that's but right. the good news is is we have jesus who makes us fulfilled in him who who puts us back together mm -hmm. and makes us righteous in his eyes so we don't have to be perfect mm -hmm. and so i think a lot of people get this idea they mix the idea of christianity and legalism or having to do things yeah. right and that is true with a lot of other religions but not with christianity no, no, no. and even though we want to strive to be more like jesus the thing that brings us to christ is him and him alone and so we're not going to get any closer to him but through our own actions. No. It's it's us being completed in him because in that third third circle is the gospel. That's right. what you've been talking exactly. about. Exactly. Yeah. Everything exactly. everything cycles through the gospel. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting is which by the way brings you back to God's design right. so that we can pursue God and have a relationship with him. It's interesting those same four principles creation, right. God's design, mm -hmm. fall, sin, creation, fall, rescue, which is what what happens between brokenness and the gospel mm -hmm. and restoration which brings us back right. to the same back point. to the original design that God had. All four principles are there in both exactly. in both approaches. And again, the three circles app is a free app just like mm -hmm. the story app yeah. is. Yeah, and we'll provide a link down in the description for that also. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite things about uh the three circles app is is how relatable it is and and because that brokenness circle yeah. if, if when you pull this app up there's a bunch of different squiggly lines that yeah. lead out of the brokenness mm -hmm. circle and that is to represent all the different things that we try to find fulfillment in right. in our lives because you know a lot of times we can result to what the world has to offer hey you know what i feel broken inside maybe more money will help yeah. me maybe more success maybe getting this different job or dating this other person maybe that will yeah. make me feel better maybe that will make me get out of this rut and the honest truth is the only thing mm -hmm. that'll bring us back to God's design is the gospel yes, exactly. that's the only successful way and we can we can get so caught up in trying to fix it our own way but God's telling us hey I, I, I am right. the only way and and that's what we have as Christians and that's the beauty of the gospel is we have this and we get to share with people the one thing that can truly bring them out of their brokenness. And that's also the thing that we can relate to everybody with because yeah. everybody's had things they've been through. Everybody's had tough times, times where they feel like they're not enough. And that's all right. There's nothing wrong with that. But we're able to relate with, yes. with them and show them, hey, I have this that helped me. It's Jesus. He can help you too. Yeah. Like, let's do this. Let's pursue God's design for our life together. Yeah. And I think that's such an awesome way that this walks through that. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope 
that we helped you in some way, either clarify what the gospel is or gave you some helpful tips on how to share the gospel with others. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, uh, don't be afraid to leave a comment and like this video um, and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have. We make a lot of videos like this um, as we're walking in our faith together and trying to grow and, and grow that kingdom of God. So exactly. thank you guys so much for watching and have a good one. Thank you.